Looks good, eh? Pretty happy. Welcome back to Backyard Builds. We are going to finish our front brake conversion today. Yeah, so I've cut the parts, had some little spaces machined up, um, good to go. I've actually got an assembled one at my feet right now. Um, so we know it all works. We know the Falcon calipers will work with the Hemi Performance hubs and standard BAAU Falcon front discs. Yep. Um, factory Falcon studs too, because we drilled our, drilled our hubs out. Um, Half inch AU studs. Yep. And should all just, just off and locked in. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, get into it. Get to it. First thing we're going to do is press some uh, wheel studs in. And then we'll press some wheel bearings in. Yep. Before I press these bearing shells in, I like to put a little smear of grease just on the outer edge. Just helps them slip in a bit better and if they do need to come out later, it makes it a little bit easier. So, you want it to start it nice and flat and even. If you press that bearing in on the piece, you're going to damage the shell and just throw the bearing away. You may also damage the hub. But can you just explain what on the piss means to our international viewers? On the piss in Australian. <laughs> in Australian is if it goes in wonky or on an odd angle. Um, it's that's worst case scenario, you really do damage the shell and your your bearing. I uh, got my old man to turn up this little tool for us, just so we've got a nice pressing surface. This is slightly smaller than the outside diameter of that. And then it also fits up on there for us. And it's too high, but that's all right. So, I'll go down a layer, like that. And I'll just go and grab some packers to fill out. What's next? I don't know, you tell me. Studs. Need wheel studs. So what wheel studs have we got here? These are off the shelf AU Falcon half inch wheel studs. Cool. Nothing fancy about them. Um, so we've tried to go with OEM stuff. So if anything does eventuate to break, Pretty readily available and easy to come by. So that's that first stud in. I thought we'd just explain to you why we're pressing them in. You can hammer them in, but it's hard going and it's not always perfect. These holes were originally too small for this stud. So we went out and we measured that spline and measured this shaft and found a drill bit that is this size of that shaft without the spline on it. We then drilled the hole. When it presses in, those splines are actually bigger than the hole, which are what causes it to grip in the hub and stay put. So that's called an interference fit. There's about two hour clearance on that, or slightly less. And they, that's why they don't quite slide through. So 
so we're going to assemble one side now. So that's a template that we used. That was a IFO readily available kit. Now copy them, cut our own. Also had our little 15 mil spaces machined up. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to dry assemble it. The, U, the front end will be blown apart again before the Ute's back on the before the Ute's on the road. So we're not going to put any grease in the wheel bearings because there's no need to clean stubs up again because we're going to paint them when the Ute goes back together finally for the final time. Sorry. So just going to put the bearings in dry, um, assemble it, tack these off, weld them up, make two sides, and put them on the Ute. We only use high quality Timken units. Shout out to Timken. Just polishing it up. Don't be jealous. I've got two to polish. I'm not Lance Armstrong. <laughs> um, show us the shape of that nut, Tom. It's exactly what I'm saying. Looks great. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh, uh, let's run it. <laughs> Threads on. Ready to go back together, are we? Yeah, I'll pull it all apart while you all those up. Good work, good work. You if might want to. That, that ball joint separator got my knee, but. You should watch it. Probably just reuse those bushes, don't sound that bad. That was probably, it was fairly simple disc conversion once we worked out what was going on. If, um, if you've got any questions, just flick us a message and we'll tell you exactly what we did with with more detail than we'll describe to you now. But um, that's a VG VF disc stub, Hemi Performance Hub, AU Falcon half inch wheel studs and nuts. And um, we haven't put the calibers on yet just because there's no real need. No. But um, yeah, it's pretty dead easy brake conversion for you guys. And it won't cost mm -hmm. you the world. No, I mean, it's less than 100 bucks for rotors. Less than 100 bucks for rotors. I cut the brackets. Dead easy. So if you can find yourself a set of disc stubs. Pretty much halfway there. So that's pretty much it. Front discs. The big jobs are done. Yeah. There's still a few big jobs to accomplish, but at this point now it's just uh, finishing up some little stuff. Yeah, all the all the half started stuff that we filmed earlier. We're gonna now half finish. Yeah. Or we'll fully finish. I don't know which way it goes. So there'll be a lot of part two episodes. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's 
AU front discs, 15 inch wheels. One job we do have left is still we've got to mount the booster for it. We're still running Falcon um, factory front booster. Factory booster. Factory booster and master cylinder, so yep. it should pull up just like an AU Falcon. <laughs> Might get that inherent brake shuttle, we don't know yet. <laughs> anyway. Um, we're going to try and have this down at Crisis on the Murray in October. So um, any of you guys that are watching can come down and check it out in person. We shouldn't be too far from it either. Yeah. I think we might take a marquee down. Absolutely, we'll take a marquee down. We might even have a few shirts and jumpers out on sale as well. Just uh, see how we end up after winter. <laughs> see if you guys clean us out. By the time this goes out, uh, website should be set up to purchase your hoodies and jumpers yep so everyone always points to each corner um, I'm just gonna put it in the description there'll be, like, there'll be a link the link will also be on our Instagram page so if you're keen for one hit us up that's it see you next time have a good one